How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing these HC motion taillights. Uh, I really do like how they light up at night, especially once you unlock the car. So first things first, let's bring the car into my garage and let's get started. Alright, so popping open the trunk, you're going to have to go inside to the liners. If you would just look at the top, you have a little clip there. Easily just unscrew it, just my hand. One on the bottom as well, same thing on the other side. I had already taken off the one on the other side, but just to show you guys where it's going to be. So as you see, I already took that one off just to expose pretty much where the wires are uh, through the liner. And I still have that trunk liner right there, so I'll, you just got to remove all that. So it's just a quick, easy step. If you got a flathead, it's easy to do it. With the liner now removed, it gives you easier access to remove the two bolts holding on the first half of the tail lights that are onto the trunk. So you'll just need a 10 millimeter to take them off. Once you loosen up the nut, you can just take it off by hand. It's very quick, very easy. The rest after that is just disconnecting everything that you have. All the connections, just got to disconnect them on both sides. This is the VLAN setup, so it's a little bit different than OEM, but it's still the same process. This clear tab right here, you had to push in from both sides and then push it from the bottom in order to be able to pop out the tail light. I had to do it off camera since I needed both hands to do this. But now with the first half of the tail light removed, we move on to this grommet piece here, which we got to just pop out. Very easy to do. That's where you're going to feed your cables. I ended up splicing it from the last project with the VLAN tail lights and just feeding the wires through there. It's a lot easier to do than using the coat hanger technique or the fishing wire technique. Some people may say that's not the best way to do it, but with the rain and the snow that I get here in Jersey, I haven't had any issues and I haven't had any moisture built up in there, so it's a-okay. Now you just go ahead and remove the other tail light. You're going to see it's a little bit dirty in there, so you're going to have to clean that up just to prevent anything else from building up in there and obviously getting some rust spots. After you clean the area up, it's just going to slide right in. Uh, you'll see it where it connects and you'll see where all the holes are. It's very easy to do. One, two, three, and as you saw, it looked really nice now. Comparing the shade of these to the VLANs, these are definitely darker, which I like. It's definitely going to make the tail end just pop out that much more. I went ahead off camera and put the other side on, ended up tightening up the nuts that were holding on the back tail lights. And now it's just time to remove the old wiring because the new wiring has to get put in, and this is just a quick setup on that. With the VLAN setup, you just got to disconnect the wiring harnesses here. Nothing too crazy. Thankfully back here there are no nuts that you gotta unfasten which is a good thing. The only thing you have to do is just push that grommet so you can be able to get the wires out. That's pretty much the only thing. But in the front you just have to unscrew those two Phillips heads and you're all set. Just give a good pull on the tail light and it should pop right out and then you're gonna be able to see how dirty it is back there. Just clean that up and set yourself up for a nice entrance for your new tail lights. After you clean the area up just put the new tail light in and look how clean that looks. With one side done we do the same thing to the next side and now we move on to the wiring which is probably the most fun you'll have. The wiring is very simple. The short side stays on the driver's side, which is going to go through up the grommet hole and up onto the driver's side trunk lid. And then the long side obviously goes from the passenger side in through the trunk and up the grommet into the trunk lid and on the passenger side. Very simple, very easy to do. This is going to be the most time consuming part of the installation, but just take your time with it, do it nice and slowly and you'll get it done. As you saw, I'm running both sides through the upper part of the trunk. This way it keeps it nice and clean and there's no wires just dangling around so people can see that. After that, you're going to run it through the grommet, which is probably the most difficult part. But again, if you spliced it up like I did, it would be a lot easier to do. And then you're just going to run it inside the trunk lid. Now here I decided to keep it outside for a little bit just so you guys can see how it's going to run. You'll be able to see that it's just going to go through the inside right there and then right up top. You'll be able to connect everything from left side left side and obviously right side to right side so it makes it a lot easier one of the last things we have to do is just connect both lights on the trunk lid with the cable that's provided and you're just going to run it through the trunk lid just as before now that that wire is all connected the last thing to do is to just take a look at the little switch right here it's basically whether you want the animation to be on or off, I'm going to keep them on because I just like how the animation starts up at night. With the magic power of editing, I was able to put everything back on and it just looks a lot cleaner now.
The great thing about these taillights is they have a resistor already built into them, so you do not have to worry about setting up another wiring diagram just to get these sequential lights to work. As you see, not only are my taillights sequential, but I also have the side markers that are sequential and the front VLAN headlights that are also sequentials. That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you had a great time. Please hit the subscribe button, please hit the like button. It really does help me out a lot and I'll see you in the next one.